Honey. First, we backed Mujahideens to fight Russians in Afghanistan and destroy the country apart. Then, that created Taliban. We went against Taliban again and ruined the country again. Um, we then went to Iraq and find, did not find any weapons of mass destruction. We then backed rebels to fight Assad regime that gave birth to ISIS. Are we not, have we not helped to create ISIS and these extremists? And are we not fighting the war, which was never ours, and bringing this war to our own home soil? Michael Weir. Um, Akbar, I'd, I'd question a little bit of the potted history there, because to make it very simple, what I would say to you is that the short answer to your question is yes. But it's even more direct than, than you might think. Inadvertently, mistakenly, unwittingly, we unleash the Islamic State upon the region and upon ourselves. Now, it became an accident of, of, of our own doing. It's a direct result of the invasion of Iraq. And it turns out that the bitter historical irony is that the very thing we say we went there to prevent is the very thing we created. It was Al-Qaeda who attacked the United States 9-11. But by going to Iraq, we provided a platform for a new revolutionary kind of holy war to emerge that's far worse than Al-Qaeda itself. And that's simply because we went in and we removed the regime that wasn't a particularly pleasant regime to begin with, but it was holding certain forces in check. And we removed that and created a vacuum, and one man stepped into that vacuum, a Jordanian militant by the name of Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. And almost single-handedly, almost from nothing, he created what we now call the Islamic State. It's had various names, but he created it. And I was there in August 2003 in Baghdad, just a few blocks away, when they launched their first ever attack, which was a car bombing on the Jordanian embassy. It was the first car bombing ever in Iraq and the first of so many that followed. Now, Michael, uh, anyone who's seen your documentary will know, and those who haven't won't know, how close you came to being murdered, um, in fact, being beheaded mm. in Baghdad, in the centre of Baghdad, mm -hmm. by this forerunner mm -hmm. to Islamic State. Can you yep. just outline how that happened, first of all? Yeah, because the, the most remarkable thing is that this happened <coughs> in central Baghdad, under the noses of the coalition forces. It, uh, that's right, and it's always such a pleasure to have to relive this moment on <laughs> national TV. <laughs> Um, in a nutshell, in 2004, these guys who went on to become the Islamic State, back then they were called Tawid Wal Jihad, Unity and Holy War, were slowly taking over the entire insurgency. And one of its first signature moments was there in the centre of Sydney, what would essentially be the equivalent, uh, the, the centre of Baghdad, what would essentially be the centre, the city of Sydney, they took over that neighbourhood. That's a neighbourhood that was within easy mortar range of the US Embassy and the Iraqi Parliament. And it was all under the noses of the American occupation. The American forces were unable to enter that neighbourhood. Now, when they took over that area, the local fighters who they usurped came to me and told me this shocking news. This was a massive development in the war, that the jihadis were now very clearly, palpably taking over. So I was taken in there by some insurgents to confirm this and to convey this to the world, convey this to the US military even. And it was in the process of doing that that I was dragged from my car, hauled behind a building over a period of time, where a hastily slung execution banner was on a wall and the men were there, the man with the knife, and they were going to film my beheading with my own camera. And it was my insurgent escort who stepped in and saved me and basically threatened these men that, you can kill this man, but he is my guest. And if you dishonour me, we will have a turf war. And reluctantly, they decided that on that moment, on that day, I wasn't worth inflicting a turf war that they'd only just finished winning. And 
through gritted teeth, they literally shoved me back into the car. Yeah, I made I made you tell that story. So yeah, people I would really know just what, that. Would, so yeah. people would know just how close you came uh, at the very like early stage. Sticking your thumb into a wound, isn't it? <laughs>